we have a big event starting tomorrow, the Balloon Classic. Yes, indeed. Uh I'm glad you mentioned that. I just happened to have the forecast. I saw oh, your we, notes, Bob. We have like an ESP <laughs> mind meld thing no, going on No, I saw your here. notes and then I saw, I looked over and I saw your screen over there. You little so cheater. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, here's the forecast for, this is Wednesday morning, the first morning. They won't actually fly, but they're going to have uh, the first inflation is what they call it. And 20 balloons will be tethered, but it'll be uh, still something to see. The first actual flight should be Thursday morning. So here's the forecast looking at, uh, well, the sunrise won't be until just after 7 o'clock, but we're looking at mostly clear skies at 5 a.m. The actual event starts right around 7.15 with the first inflation and uh, 65 degrees and partly cloudy skies at that time, partly cloudy. Winds will be light. That's good. The main effect, the main factor is the winds, whether they're going to be strong or light. All right. Uh, also, BSU at Louisiana. That's on Saturday at Cajun Field. I love that name. Cajun Field. I wonder if they have any gators down there, <laughs> like we saw earlier in the show. Anyway, we're looking at uh, 86 degrees at the first quarter, halftime about 89, mostly sunny skies, about 30% chance of some showers and thunderstorms, and very muggy. This is Louisiana that we're talking about, mind you. So it'll be quite different from the weather here. Very muggy and humid. Hot for today and tomorrow, a little bit breezy this afternoon and much cooler weather coming our way for the weekend. Air quality, you'll be happy to know, is much better today if you haven't ventured out. We were in the yellow and orange yesterday and even in the red at uh, one point just uh, before midnight, right around midnight. Uh, but today, this morning, we're in the green at this hour. Green and Meridian, Napa is in the yellow. Even Sunday Alley is in the green, and Salmon, they are in the orange because of wildfire smoke. Outside right now, we have 70 degrees. Winds are calm. Humidity at 26%. Some temperatures, 49 degrees in McCall, 39 degrees in Stanley. Boise right around 70 degrees, one of the warmer locations in the valley. Most uh, other valley locations in the 60s. Forecasting a high of 93. So not upper 90s because of the increase in cloud cover, but uh, some lower 90s. It will be hot nonetheless. We have a low pressure trough just off the northwest coast, a southwesterly flow out ahead of it. But also we're getting a little bit of cloud cover. Despite the uh, cloud cover, temperatures will be a bit cooler today. Uh, we would be in the upper 90s, but instead we're looking at some uh, lower 90s. Eventually a low pressure trough moves in and that will set the table for a pretty cool weekend. You can see this big low pressure trough on water vapor. And look at this train of moisture. This is where our clouds are coming from today. From that tropical storm getting pretty close to the Hawaiian Islands, another one out there in the eastern Pacific as well. So a mixture of clouds and sunshine for today and mostly sunny skies much of the day. Clouding up a bit uh, at 1030 this morning and then uh, the clouds exiting to the north and to the northeast by 630. So at times mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Then another batch of clouds moving in for a Wednesday. So far, this is just cloud cover, no real precipitation except uh, over here in eastern Idaho and maybe over there near Baker County on Friday, early Friday morning. Also a little bit breezy today, especially between about 430 and about uh, six o'clock. Then the wind's dying down with a setting sun. So here's what we're looking at as far as our forecast. First off for the Twin Falls area, mostly sunny. Twin Falls high 92 for Sun Valley, high of 86 and mostly sunny skies. Some patchy wildfire smoke, otherwise partly cloudy skies for McCall and Cascade. Western in the valley be a bit warmer in the lower 90s and Canyon County looking at uh, some patchy wildfire smoke, otherwise partly cloudy and again uh, air quality in the yellow in Nampa. So it looks like it's going to be the western end of the valley this time around. 93 for our high on Wednesday, so two more fairly warm days and then the cooling trend begins on Thursday. Much cooler by Friday as a cold front moves across our area. Cooler and breezy as well. And highs only in the mid 70s, Friday, Saturday on into Sunday. Labor Day just slightly warmer, but still well below normal. That's legal weather.